All right, three-point perspective is um, defined because you have three vanishing points. Um, that should be fairly self-explanatory. Um, so, but you're still going to need a horizon line for two of those vanishing points. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a horizon line. I'm going to pick a couple of vanishing points. And then I'm going to uh, draw a uh, plane in two-point perspective by pulling a couple of lines from each vanishing point. Okay, so three-point perspective can get a little wacky if you have a vanishing point close by, so I'm going to pull a vanishing point at uh, about the maximum extent I can away from, uh, away from this ruler. All right, so we're going to draw a simple solid box in three-point perspective. And we're going to pull, instead of our verticals going per, going uh, perpendicular to the our original horizon line, they're going to disappear to this vanishing point. So every vertical you draw is actually now a receding line. And you can tell why this is uh, a little more complex. Now, uh, three-point perspective gets a little funky. Um, because you're uh, having to pull these things to the vanishing point. And, we'll, and I'll show you now why it looks weird. Because these vanishing points are both on the page and they're so close, that means our salad is going to look really, really strange. It'll be a very uh, dramatic three-point perspective. but you'll get the idea anyway. All right, so there, we have a simple, uh, a simple cube in uh, three-point perspective. And you can see that uh, this kind of has the sense that this is rushing down really far, maybe you're really high above it. You can also reverse this process and, uh, and draw buildings that are, uh, you know, as, as if you were looking up at them. And for the sake of clarity, we're still going to keep drawing through our forms just to complete everything. So um, that's the short version. The long version of doing um, drawings like this is to be sure that uh, you pull all of your intersections back to the appropriate vanishing points. Just to make sure that you've really got it. Okay, so we've drawn through the form. You can see the, the base plane here. You can see the front planes. You can see the back planes. And you can see the top plane. That way, if you want to um, extend anything um, or add any details, you know exactly where to put them.